Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's talk about the Little Man Computer, a surprisingly useful model for talking about computers and computer architecture. So, basically, the Little Man Computer is a man in a room. Why do all computer science thought experiments start like this? Seriously. Anyway, the Little Man Computer is a man in a room. There are a hundred mailboxes, as well as several special slots, one for input, one for output, there is also an accumulator for doing calculations on, and finally a program counter. All the boxes we've just described can hold a number. In fact, it is a number from 0 to 999, so basically three digit numbers. Interestingly, all these numbers can represent data or instructions. Now, what does that mean? How does a number represent an instruction? As it turns out, all the instructions are three digit codes. The first one actually tells you what the operation is, and the next two numbers actually talk about which mailbox it is you should refer to. Some of the operations include, say, simple math, input and output, you know, reading from the input and output slots, load and store operations that allow you to actually read information from a mailbox or write to it, as well as branch instructions, which change the value of the program counter. But how does this experiment actually perform computation? Well, all you have to do at the beginning is to set up your state. That involves writing the program and defining the data. Then the program counter is initialized to zero. And from this point onwards, basically the little man inside the computer is going to look at the program counter and basically go to the mailbox it refers to, read the value there, and basically perform computation on it as if it was an instruction. When each computational step is done, the program counter is incremented by one. In other words, the little man sort of goes one mailbox after another, and does one instruction after another. What essentially happens is, you know, if you set up your branches and your arithmetic properly, you can start doing things like conditionals and loops, and yeah, this is actually basically a fully fledged computer. And that is why a little man computer is actually a pretty good approximation for the CPU inside your computer. Well, I guess not just the CPU, the mailboxes actually represent the memory of your computer, but everything else is actually a component in the CPU. For example, the program counter is something that needs to exist to tell your computer what instruction to look at next. And an accumulator very similar to the one in the little man computer exists as well. And that is where calculations are actually stored. So yeah, that's a little man computer. It is a very interesting and surprisingly accurate representation of our computers today. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.